some of the questions that I get after uh, my public speaking events is, oh, this is so great. I love exactly what you're doing. I've been having these discussions at home with my kids and now I'm ready to do more. And one of the things that I like to tell my um, clients and my audience is, okay, great. Let's see what we can do in the community. First, we should start by looking into some of our own habits. Start with your own sphere of influence. Are your kids in soccer? Do they play football? What about Girl Scouts? How involved are you in church activities? Um, do you want to get involved in home, you know, for helping with homeless shelters or a battered women's shelter? I would start by things that you're interested in. And once you are, get involved in those communities. For instance, I have five boys and they're very busy in sports. Um, and so I like to help out where I can when it comes to, you know, being team mom or passing Gatorade and meetings and things like that. One of the things that you can do is when you're involved in your own sphere, then it's easy to have conversations with other people about inclusion or even get on a board. Um, I'm very passionate about helping people without homes. And so one of the ways, if you're like me, that you can do that is, Get involved in a in a community in a uh, organization and see if you can start volunteering to help raise money for the cause. See if you can help to get on the board of this organization. And once you do, fight for inclusion. Have conversations with other people that will help uh, change unconscious bias on a uh, on a loving level. Come from a place of love and really get involved in your community. And I would start with exactly where you are. Look at how involved you are and your neighborhood and your community and see how you can have conversations and bring about more inclusion so that others will really start to see people for who they are and make a huge difference in the world.